Hey Corner Cuties, it's Jamie. For those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. For everyone else, welcome back. I am here today with like the most random impromptu video ever. I've been talking about trying to make bread for a while now. I know when the pandemic hit, like everybody was making bread and trying bread. So we bought the bread machine. It's been sitting out there and today I just woke up and was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. So. This is like the biggest experiment ever. Might work, might not work. We're going to see together. All right. So this is the Frigidaire, what is it? Automatic bread maker. So I opened it up. I cleaned the parts and everything. I'm really not. I mean, it says it's automatic. It has all these, you know, it makes soft bread, sweet bread, natural sourdough. You can do a milky loaf, bake a cake, raw dough. It has all these different features. It has 15 different functions on it. So I saw a couple of recipes and one of the ones was a recipe to bake it in the oven. Just make the dough and do all the kneading and stuff yourself. Bake it in the oven and then when I pulled this out it said it was automatic and it did all that itself. So we are gonna let it do it and see what happens. So this is experiment one because I'm gonna try the other method too at some point. So the Frigidaire automatic bread machine, it has little they call it a barrel that you put all your ingredients in and it'll do all the mixing and it does the baking in here too so i'm going to try in the little recipe book here they have a soft loaf which is the basic loaf and then they also have one that's called a quick loaf so i think i'm going to try the quick loaf and see what happens in the quick loaf you can make them in the automatic machine you can make a one pound one and a half pound or a two pound loaf the machine two pounds is the capacity so i think we'll go because it's an experiment we're just gonna do the one pound loaf today and see what happens so first and foremost it says we're gonna mix all of our ingredients the yeast it doesn't even say for sure it just says yeast powder i don't know if that's like regular yeast or quick yeast i'm gonna try quick yeast because just because really no real reason but that's the one i'm gonna try so it says to put all the ingredients in the barrel you put the yeast powder on top so that it doesn't activate until it starts to hit the liquid when it starts to stir so we can just throw this together really quick so it says it came with uh its own little measuring cup and spoon so we're going to use that for the quick bread for one pound it says we need 180 milliliters of water, which is, that's 150, 60, 70, 80. So that's 180 right there. Let me get some water real quick, guys. All right, so it's baking. Well, it needs to be, um, I think, room temperature water. It can't be cold water. So it has to be, um, oh, you know, I could. Let me see what my little kettle got going on here. Let's see. What I'll do is use good filtered water. You know, it tastes better to drink. I'm gonna assume it well, ain't no assumption, it'll taste better in cooking too. So what we'll do here is while I um get all the other measurements together, I'll warm up the water in the kettle. And it doesn't need to be boiling, so we'll just like put it on and let it start to get warm and go from there. So while that does that, what else does it say we need? We can just get everything else measured out. So for the, what did I say? The quick bread, right? Quick bread. So two big spoons of butter. Where's the little spoon? Okay. Here's the little spoon. So, and I don't know what the measurements are. They just call it a big, oh here it is, oh it's a tablespoon and a teaspoon, so that's all it is. They're a big spoon and small spoon, they're just teaspoons and tablespoons. They're really more new. Okay, so. Alright, so we can do it. Okay. 
will come back after open the water and she's in my room. So we're on that. 180 milliliters of water. All right, so I got my water warmed up a little bit. So it said 180 milliliters of water. So I'm gonna try to pour this here. That's 150, 160, 170, 180. Okay, so. As always with baking, you know, you're supposed to be really precise. So, you know, measure your water on a flat surface at eye level. All right, so that's my 180 milliliters of water. They said two big scoops of butter. Let me get probably like a little under. plastic knife would be good because I don't have a spatula that small. So just a little small plastic knife. Oh, puppy over there coughing, yeah. All right, so that's the first scoop of butter. First tablespoon, basically. And that's the second tablespoon of butter. All right, so I got that in there. And then it says a half of a small spoon. So if this is a, a teaspoon, so it wants a half a teaspoon of salt, table salt. It specifically says table salt. So I'm going to just grab my regular, real measuring spoons so that I can get this half a teaspoon kind of precise here. All right. There. So do a half a teaspoon, nice level teaspoon of salt, table salt, and then it says 280 grams of flour. So let me make sure. Okay, so I told y'all this was going to be an experiment, right? So my recipe basically gives me my flour measurement in grams, which I don't have a scale here for that. So I have I had to estimate how much 280 grams of flour is, and I came back with what two and one third cups. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna try, and that's and we're gonna see how it comes out. So actually, let me get my dry measuring cups, not my wet. All right, so two and one third is what we're gonna go with. The experiment continues. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go to try to get some nice and level. Just kind of swirl around this butter and water. The water, the butter, the salt. And kind of mix that water together. Alright, so this is cup number one. And let's get cup number two. This flour is making me think about uh, pizza dough. Me and Ria, y'all, we make a pizza. We're gonna have to get him on, um, on here for you guys one day. 
All right, so we got the flour in there. All right, so I got my two and one third cups of flour in there. So next it says sugar, which it says one big spoon, which for them is one tablespoon. So here is my one tablespoon. Ooh, I'm gonna drop the sugar in the flour here. My one tablespoon of sugar. All right, so what it says is when you put the yeast in, you put the yeast on the top of all this so that it doesn't hit the water until it's ready to mix. So I tried to layer everything in here so that it would be kind of dry, which I tilted it and not so much. So I gotta make sure when I pour the yeast in there that it's sitting right on top of the flour. So next it says two small spoons of yeast powder. So I got my instant yeast quick rise right here. And like I said, it didn't specifically say if it was supposed to be instant or not, but I'm using instant. So my yeast is still nice and fresh. So I guess I mean, I've never made bread before. So I think this is like really my first time ever using yeast. All right. So two small spoons, which is two teaspoons. So I'm gonna cut that out. I'll use their little scoop for this. How much is this? All right. So that's one. Let me pour that in there to make sure I get exactly how much they say. All right. And that's two of the yeast powder. And that's it. So, I mean, according to the book, at this point, let me go back to my, my little instructions. It says put everything in there. So... It's not don't allow the yeast powder to touch the water. It says put bread bear onto the container and fix it into the position covering the lid. And then it says to plug it in, turn it on, press start, it's gonna be all right. So that's what it says. So let me get you guys a look really quick. So I did it so that the yeast is sitting on top and not touching anything wet just yet. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to the counter so I can get this contraction plugged in and let it start mixing and see what happens. So we can get him all plugged in. Look at my tomatoes and my zucchini from my garden. I'm going to have to make y'all a gardening video one time too so you can see my little garden. I got, look, look at that, look at that. I got tomatoes, y'all. I got tomatoes. All my little globe tomatoes and my big old zucchinis. All right, so we're going to plug him in. And there, he's on down. Let me get all this out the way. So, it says, the little book said to... Take the barrel over, and I'm going to put him in. I think he's supposed to click into place. Okay, he's in and secure. Close the lid. Now, I'm making, what did I say? The quick bread, right? which is number six. So I guess uh, the menu options are changing. So number six, he's going to be medium color. Uh, what size loaf? I said I was doing the small loaf, right? Okay, so that's the small loaf. He's going to be medium in color. You can do dark, light, I'll do medium. And I guess that's it, y'all. We've got to see. I'm going to hit start and see what happens. 
what the dough was looking like oh it looks good because they had some markers that let you know if you needed more water or less water but the dough actually looks the way they say it's supposed to look in the picture so I'm gonna go and push the button back and let him do what he did all right so far so good so they say an hour and 28 minutes we should have us some bread so we'll see I'll do another check-in with you guys a little later, once it starts to bake, maybe. extra but i know i'm the same love me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama cause when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a day babe i could keep that same energy when you go low i go low too but you'd rather stay high i know all right guys so the bread is cooked this is the first time i'm opening it since it's been in here and he a little funny shaped loaf but you know he a little, he a little baby loaf i did the smaller loaf so let's see how he comes out they say it's hot so we use a a pot holder i noticed this twist Ooh. Okay, now I'm not going to get my bread out though. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that takes him out. And now, I don't know if he's supposed to just... Oh, okay, okay, alright. Right, let's... There we go, look at that. Now they said the little mixing hook might be stuck in there. So they gave me this little thing, this little device, I guess, to try to get him out. Okay, there we go. So that was the mixing hook. So we're going to flip him over. Look, let's taste that. Let's go. Crunchy edges. All right. So let's brush him with some melted butter that I'm getting all over the place so. no sorry Look, let's just pour that over the top okay all right so now I don't think I have to let it rest, but I'm ready to try it. So we're just gonna slice into it and see what it comes out like. All right. Ooh, it is hot though. Got me a little bread knife here. All right, look, 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 it look like bread. It look like bread. 
All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, okay. all right, let's see. <laughs> it tastes like bread. Okay, y'all, I made bread. Mmm. Okay. I like it. All right. Mm. I've been told I have to make a sandwich in order to find out for sure if it really tastes like bread. So I'm going to let it cool a little bit, slice them up, and I think I'm going to do a grilled cheese and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Look, uh, I made bread. Look at that. I made bread. Quick bread. So mm, I like it. It's like a dinner roll texture. Not the yeast roll, but a dinner roll. So, mm. All right, I'm gonna make my sandwich and let you know. I'll be back. Mm. Look at that, all nice and golden. Alright guys, so I made my little baby grilled cheese. And look at that, he toasted up really nice. So let's see. Mm. I made bread, y'all. Okay, it's good and it toasted up really nice. Mm-hmm. I got a little room, of course, to improve, but for my first time, I don't feel bad at all. I think I did really, really good. So, that's my first little baby loaf. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to try a couple other recipes. I still have the one I'm going to try in the oven, too. So, we shall see. But, I made bread. It wasn't a total fail for my first experiment. So, we'll try next. We'll try again and see what we get next time. All right, guys, thanks for coming around the corner. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.